garage. Today I am on my way to pick up a 1969 912 that's been sitting in a garage for like 40 years. So stay tuned. Everybody who knows me knows I've been playing with cars for many, many years. Uh, buying, selling, tinkering, tracking, whatever. Uh, so throughout that time, uh, I've been able to establish a small you know, network of people who will call and say, hey, I know where there's a car. So this is one of those uh, situations. Uh, a local car in Miami. So I hooked up my trailer and I am on my way. I had to bring my air compressor and a bunch of tools because who knows um, what I'm gonna find. I know the car's been sitting in this garage for a long, long time. Like I said, I think like 40 years and it's just covered with stuff and it's, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm gonna find. I don't even know if I'm gonna wanna take it. Uh, let me see when I get down there what I find exactly. It was uh, represented to be a rust-free car, mainly because it's been sitting inside so long. But uh, if it's all rusted out, I'm not even gonna bother un un you know, unburying it or whatever you wanna call it to dig it out from its uh, resting place. So we'll see. Uh, I'll get over there and I'll start, uh, I'll show you guys what I find. Should be interesting. Is there anything that's been sitting in a garage for 40 years? has to have some sort of a story to it so we'll see we'll see what happens so apparently this is the house here imagine in a, just a normal house in a normal neighborhood you have a Porsche sitting in a garage I guess back there for like 40 years isn't that crazy from the pictures I've seen of uh, the car inside the garage. And I guess looking at this old boat sitting here on the side of the house, uh, it seems like this guy's kind of a pack rat. So I guess we'll see, I don't know. We'll see what's inside door number one. But right now I'm just standing outside here waiting for the gentleman to come out. Uh, from what I understand, he's an elderly gentleman. He's not doing so well. Uh, Health-wise, so I guess I just got to be patient and wait So he told me to just go ahead and open the door. Let's see ah. Ah. Good lord Look at what we have here -da. Got some Fuchs wheels I see the motor down there. Uh, I'm not sure what the car is sitting on top of. Wow. All right, I'm gonna have to climb in here and take a look. Can you believe that? Sitting here for who knows how many years unreal so it's a 912 apparently all original paint I don't know yeah uh, take a walk around and see what uh, what's going on here I don't know how we got it so high up in the air wow 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 all right I'm gonna go ahead and inspect this thing and see what I am dealing with here. So I'm gonna have to move some stuff out of the way and let's see what happens. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right. All right, so, so far, got the side of the car free here. This wheel spins. Still got some stuff underneath. There's a transmission down there. Motor parts, motor. So I gotta keep working. And dig it out. There's a bunch of boxes down there. Uh, I'm gonna pull that motor out, and put it on the furniture dolly. That way I can get underneath there. 74, huh? Yep. The last time car was registered, that was yep. the year after I was born. I was a year old. 
Man, that is a lot of work. So I got the majority of the stuff out from another car. That spool of wire there is already free. Uh, the car is basically teeter-tottering on two cinder blocks, as you can see. It's just teeter-tottering here. So what I'm gonna do is grab one of the original, actually quite nice 15 by six Fuchs wheels and put them on the front. This one here, I believe has a steely on it. Yes, it's a steely. I have three of the wheels here, I believe. One, two, um, anyway, I think he told me he had another one. Yeah, there's another one, okay. There's another one there. And then he says he has the other one inside. So I'm gonna start now. I'm gonna put the two front tires on. I can jack the back, up of, the, uh, back of the car up, get that block out of there. Um, there's also a transmission down there, if you can see that. So that's gotta come out. And then I can uh, almost be ready to, I'll have to back the truck. I'll disconnect the trailer, back the truck up here, tie a strap to it and pull it on out. Can you guys believe this? This is the stuff you only read about, you know? And here I am living it. Look at all the crap I had to take out of this garage. Oh, and here's the motor. So, I don't know if it's the original motor. He couldn't verify. He said the motor came from a shop a few blocks away from where the car was around the same time, same year motor. So he says it's a possibility that, that is the original motor to the car, but he cannot confirm. Oh man, I'm pooped. So anyway, but I still got a long way to go. Can't start complaining about being pooped yet because I am nowhere near done yet. Um, there's a bunch of crap inside the car, but look, it's got nice seats at uh, 69. Yeah, these might've been the original seats. So it's not horrible, the car. It's just been sitting here for 40 years. So continue on. Crazy, huh? these stories still do exist and this is in I mean sitting here in the middle of a very very nice neighborhood here cutler bay it's called down in miami i mean very very nice neighborhood very expensive houses and you got and you got this she is down on the ground Got the wheels on it, they're all flat, but that's okay. It's gonna be a tight squeeze getting it out of there. Okay, on the ground. So I'm gonna turn the wheel, I guess to get it away from this wall of boxes here. Yeah. Or even I guess just backing it up straight should be okay. Yeah. And I'll pull my truck up here yeah. with, uh, and then we'll get a strap. I'll, I'll yeah, tie only, a strap to it and just drag it out of here. Yeah, you only got like a couple inches of clearance on this side. Yeah, it's tight over here. But uh, it should be enough just to, to, you know, just to drag it out. You know, what's the worst case scenario? I get, you get to scratch in the paint, yeah, you know? <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, yeah, buff right out. I wonder how this paint will do if you actually gave it a buffing. It will come out nice. Because here on the side here actually looks pretty decent. Yeah, yeah. The paint's good. This is where we're at. Got the strap hooked up. But the car is coming closer and closer this way. I'm going to have to put the jack underneath it. Uh, bring the back end of the car this way. Because it's definitely rolling in that direction and there is no room in on this side so let me do that let's see how this goes nice and easy car hasn't been moved from there in 40 years Look at that. Coming out. Alright, let me go take a look and see what's happening back there.
car has not seen the sunlight in 40 years, huh? Oof. All right. So I'm gonna put the jack under here, bring the back this way, and uh, swing the back end of it around. Get it straight down the down the uh, down the driveway. So here's where I'm at. Got the stuff put away. That's just some silica sand he says he's gonna put in the grass. But imagine, add a car to that. You know what I mean? On top of all this stuff, there's also a car in there. So check this thing out. It has not seen the light of day in 40 years. I'm gonna have to go through here, just throw all that stuff away. And then see what I do with this car. That's my issue. I don't ever need another car. It's kind of cool. Interesting story behind it, but uh, I don't know. Anybody want it? Let me know. It is by no means a uh, concourse example. And it does have some rust. It's not horrible, but it does have some. Uh, but overall, at the end of the day, I guess it's not that bad. I also, although the car has a transmission in it, uh, and I have the motor over there, I uh, I don't know, just to kind of do the guy the favor and get her, I gave him a few hundred bucks for this. Uh, I don't know if it's a 901 or a 902 transmissions, but I figured, yeah, for, you know, 350 bucks that I gave him or whatever, it's... Uh, I don't know, I can always get more for it, so I'm not too worried about it. It's just a core 901 slash 2, whatever it might be, gearbox. Uh, but, you know, wheels have some value, set of four. You know, core 912 engine has some value. 69 chassis has some value, so overall I think it's okay. It's not a smoking deal, but... Uh, it's all right. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. 1969 Porsche 912 dug out of a garage. Look at the neighbor's house. I mean, imagine a neighborhood like this. This car just sitting there in a garage. So now you have it. Here it is. I do have that fourth book uh, 15 by 6 wheel. Uh, it's in the back of the truck. There's the motor. Uh, I think I had mentioned before, I also picked up an extra transmission. Not that I need it, but whatever. It is what it is. So that's going to do it for today. I am exhausted. It was a lot of work getting this thing pulled out of that tr out of that garage. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to park this thing in front of the house for the evening. And I'll deal with it tomorrow. Right now, I just, I'm going to be sitting in a lot of traffic. It's about 4.35, almost 5 o'clock now. And I got to head all the way through the city of Miami um, up to uh, to my house. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool to see this uh, 912 here, uh, you know, rescue. So please subscribe, please like, and we'll see. I don't know, and I'll do another video, see what I do with this thing. I'll probably put it for sale because I really don't need it, but uh, we'll see. I thought the important thing was just to rescue and get it out of that garage. So thanks for watching.